Hello everybody and welcome to Blood Bowl Super League. We've got Hiri with his dwarves versus Sol and his rats. Um, in a blizzard, Hiru has won the toss and chosen to receive. Which is probably the best idea, right? Because obviously he gets to bang out the um, the rats. But not only does he get to bang them out, um, if he scores on turn 8, they, they'll have to deal with a blizzard for their one turn score. Whereas if he kicked, then there'd be more kickoffs before the um, before the one turn attempt and more chance of changing weather. So, so this limits the chance of changing weather and, you know, gives him a chance to get players up to make Sol's offensive drive harder as well. So the reason that I generally kick against rats is the one turn. Is, is, you know, makes the chance of you reducing the number significantly enough is is low in only eight turns. But with a blizzard, then then you would I would choose to receive because then you you know receiving is better, basically. Well done, Kulzi. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. Obviously, tackle a dead skill here. He's got the wrestle strip, of which the strip is no use. So basically, three skill choices are useless for Sol this game. He only has the juggernaut and the block and the leader and the wrestle. But he's lost. He's lost three skills: one for the stack, one for the strip, and one for the tackle. Now the strip might be useful, right? Because he could hit one of the runners, and then. Um, Hero gets it on a blitzer or whatever, or you know, like the ball could bounce there and get caught by a blitzer, stuff like this. So there's there's chances to use strip, but mostly it's going to be a uh, dead skill. Meanwhile, hero has gone for a bunch of guard and a mighty blow. I'm not a fan of two slayers, but fair enough, it's more knockdowns, isn't it? And if you're going one, I guess you might as well go two, because one's hard enough to protect, so... It's not making that much more difference if you've got two in a way, right? If you've got if you've got one Blitzer, he's going to get Blitz 16... Uh, sorry, one Troll Slayer. He's going to get Blitz 16 times. And if you've got two Troll Slayers, well, they can still only Blitz him 16 times, right? So... And obviously with Frenzy, it's more chance to get knockdowns. So, it is good. The problem is protecting him with his AV8. I don't like that he moved this guy out there, because obviously he had him in the right square, and then he just randomly moved him over here. He could have had him there. No reason not to have a tight cage. Oh, it's because he's putting him back as well. Okay, I think that's a bit excessive. Yep, he's just realised he doesn't really want to leave the centre open to a big push. But it's okay, right? Keeping the uh, keeping the team together is important. Maybe this guy should have come up there or something. Maybe he should have hit outwards with both Troll Slayers. Who knows? I'd, I'd prefer them both tucked in. But again, you've got to hit with them, so... This is surely going to be a three dice onto this guy, seeing as he's isolated. No frenzy traps or anything. Alright. Sol being Sol will take 14 hours to think of it. Also, you get a foul on him, right? So I guess I guess the fact you get the foul, maybe you go for the Mighty Blow guy and go for 3 into 2. Or even 2 into 3. Yeah, because I guess, I guess because, he's got the, uh, because he's got the bribe and he's going to foul afterwards. He's going to go for the, uh, the Mighty Blow one, which is fair. So you can put in like three gutters here. And then foul with this line on. So three five assist foul. Pretty good. Oh! Wouldn't have done that. I'd be fouling from the front. 
I know he's got block, but um, he's getting hit by tackle, right? Bosh. Yeah, I'd definitely be fouling from the foot. I would have put this guy in the back and then been fouling from the front. So I'm not exposing a gutter runner. Like, different if he was a sneaky, get dirty player or whatever, but he's not, is he? Oh my god, the bribe failed. Oh my god. So he, he didn't argue the call. He just went straight for bribe for higher chance of success. And failed. So desperately unlucky for Sol there. Absolutely brutal. It is a heavy commitment. Um, uh, dwarves are dwarves, alright, so they can't get too far forward. And you're Skaven, so it's hard for you to fight them for every like square of movement. So I feel like getting rid of uh, lots and lots of mighty blow hits is pretty good. But yeah, unfortunately, worst possible result for Sol. Very unfortunate. But I guess the good thing is, now he's, you know, uh, Hiru has a Troll Slayer and a Garda isolated. So now Sol wants to, like, come in quite strongly here so he can't reconnect. He doesn't want to let him reconnect. But also he wants something in front. It's just hard, though, right? You've got so many players that just don't want to get hit. You've got five players, well, four players that you don't ever want getting hit by a long beard. And then you don't really want your troll your rattle getting hit either. This is only armor eight, so nine plus. So just like playing hard defense is pretty hard for uh, rats. Hmm, what's this? Is he blitzing? Blitzing him on 3D? He can't, can he? He hasn't got a guard. So I don't understand. Oh, is he going to blitz? Is he going to blitz the guarder on 3 dice? And he's 3 into 3, and that's why he's done this piece. Hello, Steve. God, one day I'll try and get my account back and uh, and then sound effects can return. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird seeing you not do a sound effect when you join. <laughs> I know. I know. But um, right, hopefully I'll fix them one day. Yeah, see, this is, this is the problem that Skaven have, like denying forward movement to the dwarves, is that these guys don't want to get punched. So how do they stop the cage getting forward? They just don't. So while he can go there, and like this is obviously a good square to base both of these, unfortunately. You know, you just don't have a lot to stop. Forward progression. Penetration. Penetration. Yeah, so the assist was... was to, you know, obviously the follow-up block. He had two guards, so that's why he did that. But I didn't like it. Yep, he's got a bribe. He's definitely going to foul him, yep. I would say.
The question is though, will he expose his balls to do it? Kind of, right? Kind of. Four plus dodging. Uphill with block. This is the best Sol's going to get in the entire game. Probably. Oh god. Basically saw up his kill there, didn't you? Flip me. That was... <sighs> was a bit, a bit explicit from Cyanide. <laughs> You do, you just see fully up it. Oh god. Oh god, poor rat ogre. Poor rat ogre. Oh no. Oh that's tragic. They should have given him some hair down there, shouldn't they? That is uh unfortunate Kendall Rat Ogre. I think I think Chun I think uh, Chunter, I'm calling him Chunter now. I think Sol will go for this. Four plus dodging. No, he's not going for it. I think he should have gone for it. <laughs> I think he should have gone for it. Should he? Maybe maybe not, right? Because where's his recovery? They're so far away and they can't GFI. So no, maybe not. Maybe getting them up here. Yeah, maybe this wasn't so bad. Because like, even if he powers it and it goes there, then what does he do? Knocks into there, pop, pops out, and they're just too far away, aren't they? With uh, in a blizzard. Yeah, tough. Well, <laughs> this one's getting punished for free. We'll have to quiz Sol after the game. Oh no, he's blitzing. He hadn't blitzed yet. Irata, Irata, but he's still getting he's still getting hit for free. That guy, that guy is still getting hit for free. I don't agree with that. He still just gets to foul the roger again. Whoa, no! Shut up, dude! You could have blitzed a gut runner. We'll have to ask Hiru why he didn't just hit a gut runner. I could have been a KO'd go runner. <laughs> Just quietly. Anyway, now he gets to have a tight cage. Oh, a, uh, he's going to go for a uh, finger bus. No. Oh, tight cage is, is the best here. Though it sucks that he's, he's he, he probably should have swapped him out for a uh, lineman, right? To get tackle in. Because at the moment this is in without tackle here. Into a 2D uphill. Out the front, yeah? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Punch, punch him there, out the front. This is a great chance again for Sol. Great chance for Sol here. Like, it's obviously not like great, it's a 5 plus dodge into an uphill. But, <laughs> contextually, if he knocks him over, it can come out in, in the front here and he's got a good at a come here hand it off I yeah well okay no I'm wrong again he's not going for it yeah 55 into 25 with a reroll available I, I, like I think that's pretty decent I'd be happy taking that I'd be happy taking that against Tiru in this format you know Dwarves, hero on dwarves in this format. I'd take that. Like different if it's on ladder, of course, and you've got you know, you've got all sorts of different skills or whatever, and like different skill level opponents. But um, yeah, like like in this situation, I think it's very good. He hasn't got guard on this cage corner. He hasn't got tackle on this cage corner. And you've got the recovery right there to pick it up, hand off and run away and stuff. Right, this guy could come in, hand off, run away. Like he had all of his gutters nearby. He had all four gutters to take part in the sacking and recovery. I think that was a very good... It was a very good... So it wasn't a very good chance to pop the ball. But it was a very good game state afterwards, wasn't it? It was a very good possible game state afterwards. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, he's you know he's just it's turn four already, and he's got back in front of him. But um, now he's getting everything hit. I re I really like that. That was that was like you could have popped the ball. You could have had like a screen out there and a gut around down here. I I feel like that was a was a good turn to do it. Yeah, fair enough, Seabros, fair enough. I'm I'm no rat coach, <laughs> you know. <laughs> to be fair, I'm no rat coach and Sol is. So, you know. This is why I hate the this is why I hate the toxic positivity of uh you know instead of calling something bad say it's not what I would have done. Because you know, this this wasn't bad, it's just not what I would have done. <laughs> And we'll never know what good things are until we get Blood Bowl Stockfish, which we never will, probably. Oh my god. And it's essentially win the game as well, isn't it? This is the thing, Seabros. It's essentially win the game. Uh, now, you can argue that if you don't go for it, if you go for it and you fail, maybe you'll lose the game. But if you go for it and get it, you win the game. I mean, pretty much. And yeah, now now look, all of a sudden, Sol's got no players left, and he's in a mega cage. He did get the Roger back in play, though, yeah. Got to be wary of the H cage now <laughs> against Rat Ogres. <laughs> but there's no one to push him into or anything. Yeah, this this is the thing, right? Like, now he's still given up on the drive. But he didn't have his 24% chance to win the game. So, it's interesting, isn't it? And, like, you, like, you can't... I'm not saying you should judge it by what happened, but... Like, it's just funny, because obviously what he could have done is he could have failed the, the cage dive and had his, his gut runner dead. And then you'd say, oh, look, the, the dive was terrible. You know, because then these would be down the field and his gutter would be out and dead. So it's, it's hard to just say it was right or wrong, but... There you go. Seabros is a, is a cage divey type person. Sol's a rat coach. Neither of them like the dive. I did. It's funny, isn't it? This is quite good from Sol in that the most appealing target to Blitz was this shitty clan rat. Clan rat. Rather than the Blitzer, the Gutter, or the Rat Auger. Exactly, see, bros. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? But like, this is why I don't play Rats, right? Because I don't like playing that way. <laughs> but I still think it's right to go for Cage Dive with Skaven against, against Dwarves when you've got a chance to sneak in the back and pop it because you're just not going to get a better chance later, right? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I, do, I just don't like playing Skaven, that's why I don't play them. And it makes sense that if you like Chunter and that's how you like to play, then obviously you play Skaven, right? If you play the way Chunter plays Skaven with Dwarves, then you're mental. <laughs> um. And so, I don't think it's that bad to play like I play with Dwarves, with Skaven, right? Like, I that, that, don't think that's bad, but they're obviously more suited to playing like Chunter. Or Sol, or Olivier Dulac. Like, it's, you know what I mean? I don't, think it's a, I don't think it's a coincidence that those three players that play like that play Skaven, right? I think 
will probably find that they'll play the other teams a little bit more adventurous as well. But of course Skaven is going to suit them more. Yeah, and you know, I thought I played too passively against uh, somebody. Can't remember who. Oh, in that naff, the, the one day naff thing, you know, and I went all three. I thought I played too passively against three. Like, I'm not saying that, you know, I play perfectly. I'm, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting, isn't it? It's just interesting. It's interesting that you can never judge what was right or wrong. Basically, well, not never. Very, it's very rare that you can just definitively say something was right or wrong. We're mostly limited to maximizing the chance of a score on turn eight or turn sixteen. Is without regard for player safety, is about the only thing you can conclusively argue is definitely correct or incorrect. My favourite team, Blood Bowl 3, um, it's probably Orcs, isn't it? <laughs> it's probably Orcs. Yeah. I do like Necro a bit more, like, with the Wraiths. I think the Wraiths are pretty funky. I could maybe try to play a bit more Necro. But it's Orcs, yeah, it's got to be Orcs. It's got to be Orcs. Movement 5 Biggins is mental. Absolutely mental. So interesting to just backline here. That can't be correct, can it? So he's got a three into a three. Which gets him to like there. And then he's got a two to get him to there. And then he can like dodge falls threes twos. It's got four reroll for the one turn. Is there not a better way than this? Do you not want like somebody over here in case like you get pals and stuff? Probably want a player over here, right, in case you get a pal. But I guess he's got so many players out. Eight players. Well, poor decision. I've got to say, I don't know that off the top of my head. What I can do is give you a link. <laughs> uh, this is out of date, but they've got a one to the new one. There you go. Um, yeah. 
Wait, he's not got the extra push? And he's not got the guy there. I, I think this is probably incorrect from Sol. I really liked getting the initial push. Oh, no, he didn't have enough players to get the second one as well. Right. Yeah, because if he pushed it... To there... Yeah, no, okay, so... Okay, so he's done the pass and catch. Yeah, yeah, no, this was right then. This was right. Um... Yeah, this was right. This was right. Fair enough. Oh my god, he's eaten his gutter runner. Probably should have not had the gutter runner there. Wait, no, just puts in one of his re-rolls. Okay. Like, he could have tried blocking him, right? He could have just tried blocking him. But he wouldn't have had Juggernaut. Oh my god. Well, I hate to say it. <laughs> but if you had a player here, like Jim said... He could have then pushed him and got the extra push. You can maybe still do it. Push him to there and fill up all of these. Get a push here. And then he's got one, two, three. Yeah, so if, he, if this guy pushes him... Wait. Well, he can't now. He could have pushed him to here, right? He could have done. And then fill in all these three squares. That player could have gone one up. These two could have come around. He could have still done it. No, no, he wasn't. You would have pushed him to there. Oh, yeah, because he would have had to follow, wouldn't he? Yeah, 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 he might have still been short. Yeah, fair. But he, if he'd put it where I said, he would have been alright, wouldn't he? Ha <laughs> ha. If he put it where I said, he'd have been alright. Maybe he should have done that. Yeah, he had to follow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one guy. I was filling two squares in my head. But if he'd had the other guy at the other side, he could have pushed him. So your 375% chances is a 42% chance of working. So yes, the 50-50 is better. To answer your question there, poor decision. I just did it on there. The way to do it is to give a player with dodge, do it, and then change the player, and then another player with dodge and stuff, and then just do it. Four plus dodge is dodge. Well, Sol's still got a chance, hasn't he? We're definitely seeing a Daka here, seeing as we've got a Rat Ogre in the... Uh, <laughs> nearly in the end zone. Nine, ten players. Like, you can still get a draw with this, so. Problem is that a draw is unlikely to be good enough. 
And a draw is definitely not good enough for Hiru. Wow. So Hiru will want to win. Yeah, draw is really good for Sea Brawls. I mean, and, and Bid's alright for me as well. Yeah. The guy's still got the vaguest chance, haven't I? I don't have much chance, though. I should not have lost. I should not have lost to Andy, and I should have, I should have, uh, like, you know, I should have played better, right? Like, if I just played better, if I would not hit that Wraith, maybe I win. Maybe not. I didn't get diced too badly against against Andy. And honestly, I probably didn't get diced too, diced too badly against Zebras either. I probably should have just fought harder against Zebras. If I'd fought harder versus Zebras and been a little bit luckier versus Andy. And, well, you know, sorry, played a little bit better, like just a couple less mistakes versus Andy. And a little bit lucky, right? And if I not feel that dodge. But I think both games, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot harder to say with the Seabros game. Whether I could have just played my way to a draw. Like, maybe. Losing in this is so bad, that's the thing, isn't it? Because you lose the head-to-head. -head. It is, it's like it's why, why it's just so bad like last season I lost to Strider and that was just awful because I had to be bailed out by him losing to um, oh my god I can't remember his name Moomin Slayer like I had to have him lose to Moomin Slayer because he'd already beaten me so like losing is just terrible for your head to head but I wasn't a million miles away from beating Andy 1-0 was I if, I if my dodge away had worked then I'd come out with nil nil. And if uh, if I don't block that wraith, maybe I, maybe I just win one now. So yeah, it was actually even with all of the decisions that were made and all the dice that were made, still very close to just beating Andy. I received rolls. I was it was not close at all. I gave up on scoring rapidly because I was getting dice, and then didn't screen properly. But um, who knows if I'd screened properly? Maybe I could have got away with it nil nil. I was more mentally out of that game than I was the Andy game. I was. So yeah, I should have I should have tried to stay in that game mentally. Oh, thanks, Hanky Banky. Well, it's it's thanks to all the people taking part, isn't it? It's the biggest thing. Without them, we'd have nothing. I'm surprised Sol didn't make a move on turn 11. Honestly, I would have liked to have seen Sol make a move on turn 11. But he's made his move on turn 12. So he's got 13 and 14 to break through. Like, it's still fine, right? He can even break through on f turn 15 because he's scaven. So, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I like a lot. Last time I wanted to move a turn earlier in another game I was watching and then it ended up perfect. So maybe I'm just wrong. Oh, Chunky Chihuahua, not bad, thanks. Much better when I'm not having to play Blood Bowl myself. <laughs> so. I need to work out a way I can play ladder, really. Because at the moment I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy anything about it. So I need to find a way I can enjoy ladder, enjoy streaming ladder. Felt bad yesterday, you know, I started the stream, instantly quit, pissed off. It wasn't good. Yeah, it's just pretty much just not a fun game to play, is, is the problem. Man. You know, Blood Bowl's got problems itself as a, as a board game, right? Blood Bowl, the board game, has problems. And then that's kind of compounded by Blood Bowl 3, the video game. Whoa. 
Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's not the best to watch, but it's certainly better to watch than to play. Yeah. Oh, I zoomed out and it was more grey. If I'd zoomed in, it'd be more green. Oof. If you want to tip Seabrawls, what you should do is um, organise to spin into a friend, draw five five, and uh, get loads of points on your on your positionals. Get loads of SVPs in your positionals. There's a solution for you. <laughs> Funny enough, you know, you know the first World Cup, the first Blood Bowl Two Cyanide World Cup, um, or Focus World Cup. Um, somebody, somebody, like. PM'd me, whispered me on Twitch, and said, uh, "I'll I'll spin my I'll spin my peasants into you, so you can you can farm me for the thing." And, and I told them, "No, what a dickhead!" Eh? And that was when there was like money on, wasn't there, for qualifying for the World Cup? And I, I just said, "No, what an idiot." Yep. But having morals is stupid, isn't it? <laughs> Basically, you don't fucking get anything for for integrity. Integrity is the exact opposite of intelligence. Kurt Angle lied to me all these years. This is uh, just a three plus to get everybody through, isn't it? Except he can't really reach. I guess he could go through and like tag him. Because if you go here and then then you're not getting the breakthrough, right? By going in there, you're not getting the breakthrough. You knock this down. That was weird. That leaving this guy tagged, because if you just move this guy in, um, then you would have a three plus there, and then the whole team could go through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like you guessed it there. These guys go three, four, five, six, seven, stuff like that. You'd have had like quite a lot of stuff through. I guess not that much through. You'd have had three players. So you can do that next turn. Yeah, maybe it's a bit early to do that. So maybe this is correct. Just 2D this lad. Move the ball central. Get the right ogre involved. Um, it's going to be revealed properly, but I have permission to tell you. So, see, bros. If that is your real name. Um, it will occur online between the 27th of October and the 8th of December. And the weekend of the 6th, 7th and the 8th of December meaning f Friday evening CET time included, the final eight will be condensed over the weekend. And there you go. So you definitely need time off work. 6th, 7th and 8th of December. There you go. I'll just post that in my Discord. Fuck it, here we go. That's easier. I'll pin it. And then people can know. They'll announce it at the end of August, but you can already share with your communities. I mean, this is my community, isn't it? So, yeah. It's fair enough. Interesting that he didn't hit. I, I, like, you've got a player here, so he could have just hit, couldn't he? Did, did he not hit? Or did he hit? Yeah, he stood up. Okay, he did hit. I guess he knocked him over. Oh, this guy hit. Right? He was there and he hit him knocking over there. Yeah, okay. Okay, sorry, I'm a bit slow. I wasn't looking at anything. I wasn't looking at the... I, stopped, I zoned out completely there. I do apologise. I like the right ogre position here. Very good. And yeah, this just this shuffle over. 
It's left the dwarves a bit. Di See, I like doing this a turn over. Like may maybe I'm wrong, right? Maybe I maybe you shouldn't be doing this a turn earlier. But I like just doing it a bit a bit earlier. Certainly against dwarves as well, right? Because they're not going to score a two turn in, in a blizzard, right? Dwarves aren't going to score a two turn in a blizzard. So just give yourself an extra like, an extra turn to break through, is what I would think. Um, but. Got to get forward. I really like it. It's funny because like, <laughs> Dibby was saying, you know, I'm watching people and I'm saying, get forward, get forward, get forward. And then when I do it, I'm still deep in my own half. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just think it's it's asking a lot now, isn't it? With only three turns left. It's asking a lot with only three turns left. Still need something out here. So you can, you can break down here now, probably. Yeah, you can you can get to about here or something. Yeah. You can get to about here, and then that's the dwarves totally fucked. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, and and you know, worst case scenario, it's it means that you give the dwarves a two turn score, right? The literal worst, the literal worst case scenario is you give the dwarves an extra turn to score, a uh, two turns to score, which just isn't that bad. So I don't hate going a little bit earlier. Different if it was, you know, on the ladder, like progression, where it could lead to more damage. Okay, so he's he's wimped out a little bit. I like going up there, but this this is probably, you know, it's probably better actually. It gets a bit more protected. But. Um. And it means he can move it before he does the blitz or anything, so that's got something good about it, hasn't it? Um Yeah, so it's yeah, so on on ladder, like well not not ladder, anything with progression, then um obviously that's another turn you're avoiding hits. So it's got more to it. Dackering for an extra turn with progression, but without progression, I feel like just getting it done is, uh, you know, it's got a bit more of a bit more uh, emphasis on just getting it done for me. I think I would put this guy here and then blitz out with him, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Into there, right? It's this guy in there. I like this guy in here and then blitz him. Then if you push him, you go to there. Obviously, hopefully you power him to there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's a really good blitz. And now he doesn't have it as an option, does he? Well, he has, but it's a 1D, which is... Yeah, he's going to blitz with a rogue. I thought he might. But, like, this is good payoff. In that, you you know, you've knocked over a player. And now you get to block that guy. And you get to dodge the other one at the end. So you have to, like, not follow here, right? So this guy can come 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Which is a very good square. Can you re-roll this dodge? Probably not. Ooh, don't like that. I very much like not following. Guess this isn't terrible, right? Again, yeah. occupying people, and then he goes tags there. Okay, tags here. Well, it's all all right, isn't it? We've got slightly different ideas there that turn, but it you know it all ends up in that he's got his team over here, and Hiru's team are over here, and it's going to be very hard for Hiru to get back and do anything. It's actually a good square for the ball, isn't it, with that guy in front that he had to roll. He had to roll a. A two plus. Did he have to GFI as well? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I wanted to be there, but I would have done like the blitz first out in front. 
So if you're not gonna blitz, if you're gonna blitz with the roger, then yeah, obviously you have to put him a bit further back. Our Chrissy B. They can smash the roger. He's got these two. Injured. Choose. And did he think that was a three D? I think he thought that was a three D. I think. Leaky gentlemen, I've literally already forgotten what I said. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Leaky gentlemen. Yeah, T C T S C H U umlaut double S. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, local shop for local people. I could, I could have said this is a shop. I often said this is a shop for a long time, and of course, I also said you're my wife now, dear, for a long time as well. <laughs> but I didn't think I'd say any of them. Alas, Clara is what he said a lot, wasn't it? In the uh, in the, the, the German in the League of German, he did say he did say Alice Clara, <laughs> but he did he did uh, he did probably say choose a lot as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, League of Gentlemen was great. That was really great. Do you know what's also going to be really great for Sol here is if he gets this four plus three plus off at the end. I like this deep, deep lying safety here. This is a pretty good move from uh, Hiru. Probably should have been like one over though, right? One or two over even, because you know this is a gutter runner. And it can go pretty far, so we probably didn't need to have it quite over far the side. But uh, again, not bad, is it? It's not bad having over the side, but maybe like one even might be better. I don't know. Worst things comes to worst, Sol can just like sideline cage. So I guess this protects more against the sideline cage. Like if Sol has no ideas at all, one, two, three. The problem is he's got this guy, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you could like make a three point cage. We moved him first. Can just make three two. He's got two rerolls. He can just make three two pluses. In fact, what he can do is this guy can do a one D block, and then he can do a two D blitz, and then a three plus dodge. So he does just go for the sideline cage. This is quite good, right? A one D here, and then a two D blitz, and then a dodge. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and base him. I'll just go seven and stand there. So he could do a 1D blitz, and then it's like a 3, and then a 3. So he's do, trading two 3 pluses for a 4 plus, which is better if he wants to invest rerolls, but I imagine he'll want to keep his rerolls for the next turn. So I'm, I imagine he'll just try a speculative 4 3. Maybe, maybe just like do this 3 first, right? This guy's pretty low risk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, double GFI. No, he can't GFI because it's snow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So probably would have been better this guy dodging there, but then how how much payoff is that really? 
not as much payoff as this three plus, and then another three plus, and then another three pluses. There is no Tino. Oh my god, he just cast him. <laughs> oh my god. It is Super League, so it is like, you know, it's like a league. Um, there is a Discord that has all links to all the tables and everything. Oh. Wait, he didn't. Okay, yeah, he did. So, yeah, I quite like that. I quite like that play there from Sol. Um. Now, whether he should have put in a reroll on it or not is another question. But if you are putting in a reroll, then I think the 3 3 3 is better than a 4 3. Yeah, there's the, there's the Super League Discord, and it has all the. All the tables, all the fixtures, all the everything there. All the links to that is in there and stuff. So what does he do with this uh, this guy? Does he split him and then stand on the ball? Maybe. And then he can get behind him. It's the pal. If he break here is massive. And he gets it. I wasn't trying to jinx there. Uh, I wasn't trying to jinx all there. It's just because you know it's got wrestle, right? So like it can uphill with a decent chance of getting, you know, taken out his tackle zone. That was the big thing. Is this four plus better? Four plus into a two D. That's got to be better, hasn't it? I would have thought this guy would have wanted to come behind him. I I would have wanted this guy behind him. I think the play is probably a four plus two D. Because it's hard for this guy to go anywhere. I guess this guy can. Yeah, yeah. So he does it instantly. Yeah, I think that was the right play from Saul. I think that was the right play from Saul. But he didn't get it. Hiru's wasting all of our lives by playing the last turn. <laughs> At least I'm not crying about it this time like I did when uh, in my last game. But it is ultimately just wasting everybody's time. And I'm not a fan of it. But there you go. Oh no, it's not. He could score, could he? Okay, you know, it's not actually. I take it back. Touchdown difference could be a thing, and he might have a chance to score. So no, he can't. He doesn't. So it was just wasting everybody's time. Bad hero. <laughs> Bad hero. Wasting everybody's time. There's no cast difference, no. No, there's no cast difference. So, um, now you're going to have a big win for Hiru. And Hiru's got a chance to qualify now. Um, so, let's put the score up. Of course, we can't expect Sinai to just show the result after a game. So, there you go, 1-0. A um, couple of chances for Sol, right? He had, the, he had the one turn chance and he attempted the Daka and... Uh, both were like some very much doable, just with a few more dice, um, regardless of how everything was played. And it turns out that going the extra turn only wouldn't have made any difference at all, was it? He was there with plenty of time to get through. So maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm going a bit too early on my dackers. I mean, to be fair, again, I usually don't play Skaven, and Skaven do have gut runners, which are movement nine, which makes uh, late breakthroughs a lot better. And uh, so this was the table before. But now Hiru, with that win, puts him on four, and Hiru is playing Sea Brawls. So if Hiru beats Sea Brawls, Hiru will be in second place. But I beat Hiru, so if I beat Chunter and Hiru wins, then I will qualify. But if Hiru beats Sea Brawls and I draw or lose, then, then Hiru will qualify. So that's actually a huge game. 
Hiru versus Seabrawls in the last week should be an incredible match. And obviously I have slated Imperial Nobility all tournament, so it'll be hilarious if I lose to Chunter. Um, and then Sol versus Andy is a bit kind of pointless, but uh, there you go. <laughs> if I don't qualify, it'll be the first time ever. I have made the final four out of four times because I'm fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant at blood ball so yes if i don't may if i don't qualify this will be the first time and i'll be a little bit sad um and ultimately yes i do think and it my fault right my fault i made a, some big mistakes some big mistakes versus andy and uh kind of gave up probably he's too early versus seabros but you know could have still lost those games anyway right with with the dice who knows Anyway, congrats to Hiru, commiserations to Sol, thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.